What is going on guys, my Pokers of the Little World. Welcome to this Pokemon Unite Beginner's Guide video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let us get right into this thing. So right over here, I'm picking my character. Greninja is the one I main usually in this game, and Snorlax is my second main, just in case I want to go tank. No one wants to go tank. And I usually jungle in third. Alright, so right here, what I'll be showing you guys is how to lane top and slash bot. So first, I usually go for the first Apom. And then you, uh, both of you guys will go for the second Apom with your partner. And then for the third Apom, uh, one of you will get one Apom. Then the other one will get the other Apom. And make sure you guys are on at least level 3. Make sure no one's on at least... Uh, two, make sure you guys are both level three, and one goes for the top A palm, and then the other one goes for the bot. So, obviously, the reason why I'm getting both is because your boy is playing 1v1 with a computer. So, I'll just be uh, showing you guys like the route you should take. So, make sure always, always, always go for the make sure you want to stay with that core because that's some extra EXP. I messed up over there, I let go of my analog my c6 too early so i messed up my uh, aiming make sure like literally to hold it after you're done uh with your move so right over here i was trying to guess i was trying to steal their xp always try and go for that last hit so i thought it was dead let me just and i just went back always go for one berry bam get that 200 health make sure you always get the vesper clean so that's gonna be they will give you a lot of the xp then i just destroyed the alolan knight hit alolan vulpix and then I get the combi. So make sure <coughs> to prioritize yourself for combi and vessel queen because they give a lot of experience. And after that, if no one's there, then just score right away. Then after that, what you will do, you'll steal one berry. Go fast as go back as fast as possible. If the jungle if you don't see the jungler uh, is over there, then is not by your side, then uh, try and steal the berry if you see the jungle by your side and just head back immediately and then uh, We just try and get to level 7 as much as pot as fast as possible Excuse me and after that uh, Well picks will well right now. She's coming back as the lone nine tails So never do this if you're a lower level obviously your opponent You will not defeat him unless it's a 3v1 unless you know how to Properly manage yourself. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, so obviously after put in more points, and right now I'm recalling to show you guys how I uh, how I path my jungle path. So uh, first off, go for the first apom on the either the top or bottom path, and then go for the Lugicolo slash Buffon depending uh, depending where the Lily Pup goes. So if you're going top path, the Lily Pup. Loop up will go bottom path. Uh, we'll go to the bottom. I mean, we'll go down, excuse me. And if you're going to the bottom path, the loop up will go up to the Louis Colo. So after you're done with Louis Colo, finish off Bouflant, vice versa, vice versa. And then if the Corphus is still right over here, I would recommend going for it so it can reach level 5. Again, it's all about who gets to the Corphus first. So if top lane gets to it, then just getting dumb. Um, or fun if. Bottom gets the corpus, just think them. Again, whatever works, whatever is close, whatever you guys recommend. But um, make sure to always, always uh, get Rotom immediately. Um, either with your jungle or with all your jungle. Uh, or make sure I steal from the opponent because I feel like Rotom is like one of the main objectives. Which right now, I'm not really a fan of. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about that, even though it's for buffs for shield. But always make sure to get Rotom. So right over here, after I'm done with top, if you're level 8 through 10, I recommend going bot to help your your team. And it's if they're pushed up, but if they're if the opponent is close to their goal, then go from the other side and just uh, start pressuring them, pressing the other team. So that way you can get the goal. So right here, obviously, if you're with your other three, four teams, whatever. Um, then go for Dreadnought, and if your opponent is not up, so, just to get that defense boost. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, 
by the time you finish uh, Dreadnought or by the time you're finished helping your bot lane, you should be at least level 11, level 10 or level 11. I know it's five minutes in, but if this is a real game, uh, then 11 or 12, Zapdos should be coming up. Um, but yeah, once you're done helping bot lane, I recommend going back on top. So yeah, same thing when you're jungling, you know, it's rinse and repeat. Uh, Bufalon, Lucario, uh, Ludicolo, and, uh, you know, Gank. Same thing, same thing, same thing. Just make sure your jungle is, uh, you want to be higher level, uh, if you're going in central area. I don't know, I said jungle. Um, you want to be a higher level than your other team, in my opinion, because you would want to help your, uh, the others as much as possible, because if you're a jungle, you're supposed to be, uh, going all over the map. So, again, we got the second Rotom. And it's close to three minutes right now. And like I said, this Night Tails made a bad decision by going to me. It's a 1v1. I'm three levels higher than the Night Tails, so I wouldn't recommend fighting me. And always make sure when you're doing your moves, I don't know if I explained this, make sure to hold it until the move is done. So if you're so if you see how the left analog stuff, if you see the icons and stuff, see how I'm holding a uh, surf. And make sure, uh, make sure you still hold it until the move is done. So, just a pro tip from there. And uh, yeah, just keep getting, uh, just keep getting the vessel you can get in the combis. Again, like I said, they give you a lot, a lot of experience. So, don't ever miss that. Don't ever miss that. All right. So right over here, Zapdos is coming up in 20 seconds. Make sure you want to be by Zapdos with your team. Um, at least close to 10 seconds, but uh, if you are ahead, I would recommend um, two people going up. No, wait, three people going up, two people going down. Um, just uh, just get a head start on, just make sure you have that lead and make sure to make sure to not let them get Zapdos uh, after you score. So, but if you are, if you are, uh, if you are behind, I recommend one person trying to steal Zapdos and then the rest of you guys score. And make sure, always, always, make sure to always do this because people who do forget. Make sure to always recall, make sure you're full health when you are fighting Zapdos because you're low health. Then the enemy team uh, finishes you guys off and then they get Zapdos. So that's just a heads up for those of you guys who do not recall. So that's again. This is just a beginner's guide. If you gone, if you guys want to get out of bronze, I mean not bronze. This is League of Legends. Uh, if you guys want to get out of beginners slash great, so always make sure to aim for the enemy while you're fighting Zapdos. Make sure you're in that little circular area over there. Do not get out because Zapdos will uh, keep bringing in himself. Uh, if you are out of the circle, right over here after he gets Zapdos, uh, one person has to go for the bottom gold then. Uh, make sure I always stick with the teammate. So two people go for top, two people go for bot, and then one person goes for the middle. So by the time uh, two people go for the uh, top and bottom goal, then that way the person who's going to the end goal gets um, gets the uh, score after. But if if uh, four p if four of your opponent is bot side and then. Uh, two people get finished off, at least the top side gets the uh, the score, and the person in the middle gets the score. So just a heads up with that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Nothing really else to say, but uh, <laughs> yeah, just make sure be smart about your plays. And over here, finish finish Night Tails off. As you see, I'm trying to head for the goal. It's three seconds left, two seconds left, one second. As you see, I got there. But by the time it reaches 5 seconds, you will not get that goal. So just a heads up, guys, if that's why the goal, uh, if the goal doesn't uh, go in. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this beginner's guide. And let me know in the comments if you guys want to see another one. Peace out, guys. Love y'all.